On Jeff Sessions' watch, the Justice Department has promoted voter suppression. On his watch, the Justice Department has endorsed discrimination. On his watch, the Justice Department has reversed efforts to reform our broken criminal justice system. And on his watch, the Justice Department has led an all-out, bigotry-fueled attack on immigrants and refugees. All of this, all of it, was predictable. All of this, all of it, was foreseeable. All of this, all of it, could have been avoided if just a few Republican senators had stood up for fair and impartial justice. But they didn't, not one. So here we are, Jeff Sessions, President Trump, and this Republican Congress seem to think that they can stoke the fires of hatred and division without being consumed by them. But people are resisting and persisting. States and cities are stepping up to defend civil rights under assault by the federal government. The American people are showing up in the streets, in the airports, in the courtrooms, and even at the polls to hold this government accountable. And they will continue to show up and to fight day in and day out to fight for fairness, to fight for equality, to fight for liberty and justice for all. Republicans tried to silence Coretta Scott King for speaking the truth about Jeff Sessions. They tried to silence me for reading Mrs. King's words on the Senate floor. They've tried to silence all of us from speaking out. But instead of shutting us up, they have made us louder. Warn us. Give us explanations. Nevertheless, we will persist and we will win.